this is my Xiaomi Euro Star. I picked it up as a set several years ago on my birthday, no less. And the price I got for the set was really good. It works out to around 25 US dollars because the people who were selling it just wanted to declutter. They had tried model trains but weren't really interested in it. So it's a set locomotive and coaches. It's not the best from Hornby, I've got to say. There are a lot of areas where the quality is severely lacking, but uh, I like it. It works pretty well. Now I have fitted directional lighting for this one. Let me show you. The loco is leading at the moment. So you can see we've got front headlamps in orange. And when the loco is going away from you, yeah, that's a bit of an issue with the connectivity. Wheels are a bit clean. The lights are in red. Let me bring it back towards you at a good speed and switch off my room light so you can see it. There it goes. Let's take it back. There you are, you can see the red lights. Now, if we were to take a look at the trailing unit or the unpowered dummy unit over here, you would see that that thing, excuse the camera stuttering as I'm holding it by hand, that does not have any lights. And the reason for that is because it's a basic unpowered unit which doesn't even have any pickups on the wheels. So, how am I going to rectify that? Let me tell you. So, let's take a closer look at this dummy unit. You can see it's a very basic unit. There's a decent amount of detailing on it, but nothing really spectacular per se. Those modeled grills and things are not really grills. Very basic undercarriage. And here we can see the really poor quality that I spoke about. Metal wheels just stuck into plastic axle holders. There are no bearings, nothing. So as you can imagine, they're not the most free rolling, but they're kind of okay, I guess I would say. At a pinch, these would do. Since this is the dummy unit, we've got no pickups there. No pickups there, wait for my camera to focus. So how am I gonna give this thing lights without making pickups, which I don't really like to do because I don't know how to make pickups yet. Well, I got this. This is actually the front bogey from a power car, which I got from Peter's Spares in UK. I purchased this thing. And if we look at it very closely, we'll see it does indeed have pickups. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to replace, you can see the pickups just there. I'm going to replace the unpowered front bogey of this dummy locomotive with this powered front bogey. And then from there, we're going to wire up the lights. If you look there, you can see I've already done the lighting installation with wires. So it's just a matter of wiring things up and then hopefully everything should work. Just got to get the polarity right so that when the unit is going away, the red lights come on and when it's coming towards you, the yellow lights come on. That's not an issue. So it's quite an exciting, you know, modification, I must say. And a very simple one too. I'm just trying to remove the boogie, but I can't from here. Let's open up the locomotive, or rather the dummy locomotive. This is not a locomotive, actually. Even though in the real Eurostar, this would be powered. A real Eurostar has all the wheels on its locomotive at either end powered plus the leading wheels set of the passenger car that immediately follows it so we've got two screws to take off there and then the body just comes off so you can see this is a very basic body shell but curiously Hornby have fitted weights in the dummy power car as well I guess that's to stop it skipping from points or whatever you can see where I've done the wiring and I've kept two connectors because when I did this kind of lighting installation which is quite rough and dirty when i did it several years ago shortly after i bought this set i did the conversion for the locomotive and decided to do the same for the dummy as well in case i found a solution one day well that day has come so let's put the body aside because this is what we're really interested in you can see it's just a matter of clipping that off like that it's all clipped together and clipping this on and bingo we have pickups now the next thing to do is to uh, okay camera needs to focus there we go is to solder some wires to those because i don't know if i can find the correct clips that would fit it i shall try if not i shall have to solder wires to those 
and you got to make sure that the wires you sold to this are very flexible because you can see the bogey has to pivot for going around corners so if your wires are very stiff the bogey won't pivot properly and the piece of rolling stock will derail so let me see am i going to use clips or soldered wires let me get right back to you with that so here is what we have ended up with i had to replace the wires to the lights as well because they had deteriorated for some reason and I have just done the connections without soldering and taping them up because I want to make sure the polarity was right. It was really easy to solder to the contacts. The solder just flowed onto it and made a really positive connection, so that's nice. And as you can see, I didn't burn the plastic either because I could do the solder joint very quickly. So what remains now is to close this thing up and put it back on the track. So here it comes and you can see the loco is leading once again. but. If we pan around to the train, we can see that the trailing car now has got lights as well. There we are. In fact, I'm just going to switch the direction now so that you can see the headlights come on the trailing car. Excuse my wonky camera work. There we are. Let's see it come around. And let's see it come through the tunnel. That's a really nice sight. Yep, those are the trailing car now with the new light installation. And the locomotive now has the red lights. See it come around again. I'm going to give it a bit more juice. There it comes. It's just about coming now. Let's see how it is with the lights off. Yep, very nice. Let's switch the direction and let's see it now come with the loco coming first. That one's lights are perfectly fine. And let's see as the trailing car goes into the tunnel. So there we are. Gonna put the lights back on and stop it at the station. Now there is a bit more rolling resistance because of the pickups, so I'm going to have to adjust those a bit. And of course have to do a bit more things for this train for example if you see that little wire running between the two main coaches that's because they have integrated lighting which i installed some time ago powered by a battery pack in this coach right here now since i have pickups here i can take a feed between these two coaches and power the lighting as well from that feed now i never wanted to do that with the locomotive because i didn't want to mess with the motor wiring and stuff but now that I have a pickup from the dummy locovat railing car, I can take that power feed and use it to power the lights on the coaches. The coach battery is a bit dead. I'm just going to expose mm -hmm. the switch there a bit. The switch is over there. And I don't know if you can see that. There's a very little bit of lighting just about. Yeah, I think you can see that, can you? Let me switch off my room lights again and show you that. That's because the batteries, which are three coin cell batteries, are now dead. Not dead, but quite low. So, that's an avenue for having some proper power from the track itself. So, all in all, that concludes my video on how to give your Eurostar unpowered dummy car or trailing coach directional lighting. Hope you enjoyed this video. There's a lot more coming from my train layout. So, stay tuned. Have a good day. Oh, by the way, don't forget to subscribe.